Cryotherapy is either a liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide, and when it uh, releases into the patient, into the air, so to speak, it becomes uh, more of a gas, and when it does that, it creates the freeze that we see. So we're intending to, intentionally to freeze the tissues, allow it to thaw, and then refreeze and thaw one to two more times, depending on whether it's precancerous or cancerous. Radiofrequency ablation is uh, a great technique for getting rid of uh, precancerous tissues in the esophagus. It can be used in the stomach as well. The uh, problem is that it needs to have contact with the tissues to cause the burn. And not everyone anatomically is a candidate for that. In those patients that aren't a candidate for radiofrequency, we needed a backup plan, and cryotherapy has been that. The other advantage to cryotherapy is that even though it has the same outcome in terms of the response rates for dysplastic Barrett's and excellent treatment responses for cancers, it does not cause the degree of chest pain that uh, radiofrequency ablation has. For radiofrequency ablation, we always sent people home with prescriptions for narcotic medications and numbing medicines to dull the pain when they swallowed. But we don't have to do that with cryotherapy. Cryoablation uh, has been used for many years for GYN procedures, um, and it was used before for gastroenterologic procedures, but it fell out of favor because of some problems with the gaseous distension, and actually the equipment was very cumbersome and more difficult to use. So because of the development of newer types of equipment, it's come back into vogue. The newer equipment doesn't have the degree of gas release as the old one did, and it really hasn't been a problem, although we're very conscious to make sure that that decompression device is in the stomach. We've done uh, about 60 patients at MUSC so far, and what we're seeing is for the first treatment phase, usually it requires two to three uh, treatments, uh, six to eight weeks apart, depending on whether you have cancer or non-cancerous situation. The patients with cancers are having about a 40% response to their first therapy. And the uh, Barrett's, we have had a tremendous response with more than 90% having uh, ablation of their Barrett's, let alone their dysplastic areas. We're the only center that has uh, this type of uh, capability and will be so for the next few years. The uh, main advantage of this is that we do have a different way of treating patients who have probably failed radiofrequency and have precancerous lesions or have cancers that are very early and spreading and so they want a different option than surgery. So I'm glad we can give them something less invasive.